So definitely thank you to Bald Guy Ace for selling me those. Imagine I get wings from seven of them. Welcome everybody to another Grotopia video. My name is Shadow Surfer, and as you guys can see, this came as a pretty big surprise, the Chinese New Year update. So this actually came right at the end of the Valentine's Week update. Ubisoft brought this out. Nobody knew about it, um, which is pretty cool. Like they said on the forums, this is kind of the first time Ubisoft has really made an a yearly like cycle update on their own of course they've done little updates here and there um, like themed updates and things like that but having like an actual holiday update this is the first time that Ubisoft actually made everything on their own with that which is pretty cool to see them just being an active part of bringing in new updates and things like that so on the forums Ubisoft kind of said that this was sort of a test of what they were doing with updates so there's nothing like huge in it but this gives them room to improve, obviously, um, and just to learn from feedback and things like that. So if you have feedback on this update, make sure to leave it on the forums because that's where they're going to learn from what they messed up on and what they think they could improve on too. And so let's just skim through this really fast. This is kind of going to be just a short update video on what's happening. I'm also going to do an opening to try and get the new wings. Um, we'll see what happens with that, um, but stay tuned to the end of the video for that. And so Chinese New Year, this is also called the Spring Festival. It's an annual event, so that means it'll come next year and the years after that as well. So this isn't a one-time thing like a lot of the other updates. And so there's new decorations and blocks and things like that. You can splice all the things. So we're going to take a quick look on the forums here. So as you guys can see, there is the fortune cookie, which this is basically a consumable. Um, and the big thing of this update is the 500 draconic wings. Um, there's only going to be 500 for this year, so they're going to be insanely rare. They're basically going to be, I'm not going to say they're going to be like new phoenix wings, but they have the same premise where there's a limited amount in the game. And so they're going to be selling for a lot. And so you can use these fortune cookies and you have a chance at getting those new wings, which I'm gonna do an opening, like I said, at the end, so stay tuned for that. Um, there's also the lucky token. You can get that and put that in your world, and you have a chance at getting um, some random items. So this also gives you another shot at getting the dr draconic wings. Um, also, 200 people get a builder's lock, which I don't know, that's like, that's not much, but um, 500 get a vending machine. <laughs> And then 700 get 5,000 gems. All right. But the main thing here, 100 lucky winners will receive draconic wings. And then most of the wings come from opening fortune cookies and things like that. Um, also, another way you can win these wings is to do the contest that they have. Hashtag grow CNY. And so this, only 10 people can win this. Um, but definitely, if you want a good chance at winning, I would say this is probably your best chance at getting the wings if you're a really good world builder. So here are the steps in order to try and win this contest. There's three steps. So first one, gather friends and show us your red dragon. Make sure that you're the owner of the world and you wear the dragon head. And the last one is wearing the dragon legs and only one wearing the dragon tail as the last one with access in the world. So when you're in the render, this is basically at the bottom. Um, it's all the people access and they, you need to make sure that at least four people are wearing the red dragon and it needs to be all in sync in order for you to actually be capable of winning this competition um but that's not it that's probably the simplest part of this update the main thing is actually making a chinese themed world and so i'm gonna go through all these tips because they're really important um they give you a better chance of winning and a smaller chance of winning as well oh god someone came in here oh no there's another one. Oh my gosh what is happening Hi. Oh no, he stole my world! <laughs> okay, back to the competition. Um, and so, you obviously, like I said, you need four players, all wearing the red dragon, as explained in step one. Guys, if you're ever confused, definitely go to the Grotopia forums. Um, all the information is here if you want to go back and look at that. Um, and so, uh, they have to be a Chinese New Year themed world. Um, which, I mean, if you don't know really what you're basing that off on, just look it up. It's pretty simple. Worlds with owners who got banned for more than three days will not be considered. 
so good luck with that. Then storage and pixel art only worlds will not be considered. So here's the point where we get to the part where you get certain points and you get subtracted certain points for having certain things in your world. Um, and so um, the people who are judging this competition, which is Ubisoft, they're gonna look at this um, and then if you have a lot of these things, if you have a lot of the positives, you're gonna have a higher chance of winning. If you have some of the negatives, you're gonna have a lower chance of winning. And so plus points. I'm gonna run through all the plus points. So given the worlds representing this year's Zodiac the dog, given to worlds with the maximum number of players with access in the world wearing the red dragon as explained in step one. So it has to be, you have to have the dragon head as you, as the owner, and then the tail at the end, and then the rest has to flow um, with that. And you have to have the max amount of people. Plus points given to music and story, obviously. Um, and then also if you have Chinese New Year um, facts and info and then you also get plus points for new creative ideas and or mechanics that are rarely used So I don't know I'm thinking like steam or I don't know and anything you can really think of that's more creative than just having like a story in parkour and things like that um, And then also plus points given to Chinese themed blocks and items if you don't have Chinese themed blocks or items from this update Then I would say you have a pretty low chance of winning <laughs> Okay, so here's the three negative points that they have. So given the worlds with no jammers, make sure you have a punch jammer, zombie jammer, uh, that's, that's the main ones. Um, and then given to worlds with doors or portals linked to vend and shop worlds or any other type of worlds that are not related to the event. Obviously they want your world to be the center of the attention. Um, and then also last point, negative points given to worlds with ad admins who have been banned for more than three days. Okay. So they're just trying to weed out sort of the bad players and, uh, giving more of the good players a chance to win. Um, and then this is very important last step post the image on Instagram So if you don't have an Instagram account, uh, I would make one or get a friend to post it for you I don't know post the image on Instagram put the hashtag grow CNY um, And then only post with the events official hashtag hashtag will be considered as an official entry to the contest and then these entries are due on Monday, 26th of February. So as I'm updating this video, it's about nine to ten days from now which is a good bit of time uh, to create a world and get Chinese items and things like that uh, in order to hopefully have a chance of winning. And then they will announce the 10 lucky winners and they will all get Draconic Wings. And so yeah, that's really about it from the forum news. Um, like I said, if you're ever confused on something, go to the forums, check out the new update thread, um, and you can see everything Ubisoft posts through there. And so obviously, since this is a new event, there's new blocks. Um, you can obviously spice them. I don't know the exact recipes. I know they're on the wiki if you want to look up certain things. Also, in the store, there's this oriental spice spray. Um, and then this is basically grow spray, um, but it speeds up the growth of one tree from this Chinese New Year event up to 24 hours. And so yeah, that's useful, especially since it's only 2,000 gems. But yeah, a lot of the items in this update are available by um, breaking rare blocks and the new Chinese items drop from those. I've seen that happen. Also, you can splice them like I said. Okay, so I'm in buy Chinese right now. Um, I'm just here to basically show you the guys the new items because I'm not able to get all of them. And so here's the Chinese dragon heads and tails and things like that. This is the one you're gonna want to wear in your uh, render picture in order to be able to get into the competition. There's a Chinese firework, a coin door, Chinese arc, Oriental Spice Spray, obviously that's the only item from this event in the store. Paper Dividing Wall, Chinese Crackers, Lucky Token, Decorative Paper Wall, and then last one, Draconic Wings, 25 Diamond Locks. I know it was selling for over 30 um, a few minutes ago. It's pro I mean, it's obviously going to just increase, so if you have some, definitely keep it. Do not sell it instantly because that is an awful idea because it's just going to increase in value. Um, after the update um, and then the main item from this is the fortune cookies um, and then you can get the new wings from that actually I think ace here is about to sell me some fortune cookies I swear this dude always is prepared with stuff all right seven fortune cookies and then I also have seven more that I bought off screen there we go so definitely thank you to bald guy ace for selling me those Imagine I get wings from seven of them. Oh, no way. Okay, I think Ace is gonna give me fireworks as well. Okay, so I kind of just wanted to try out these fireworks. They probably don't look any different. Okay, yeah, they're literally just... They're just the same. They're the same as any other fireworks. They, don't, they didn't change. 
which is kind of depressing. Um, I'm gonna keep those for a bit. Also, I bought 15 fortune cookies, which I want to open right now um, to see what happens. So these are going for seven world locks right now, at least from when I bought them. And so these are made from paper dividing wall seed and Chinese arc seed. So both of these seeds are going for insanely high right now. So if you want insane profit, mass produce those right now and sell them because people love getting these fortune cookies and they will buy all those seeds. Um, all right, so let's use 15 of these. I mean, if if I get, I don't know what the percentage of getting these wings are, but it's gotta be insanely low. I wonder what happens. Do I get random items if I use the cookie? Oh, I got a firework. Okay, so yeah, you do, I think, just get random items. Okay, 14 left. Chinese cracker. Ooh, this looks cool. Light it up and let the merry whatever come out. Oh, that looks so sick. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Another Chinese firework. Oh, <laughs> there's it's cool. There's actually a fortune under them if you read it. Oh, I got a red dragon tail. How much do these go for? A few world locks, I think? Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> I'm leaving that on, though. I got another red dragon tail. A Chinese firework again. A small lock? What? Another red dragon tail? A huge lock. Okay. Another huge lock. <laughs> Another firework. A red dragon tail. Alright, three more. Mode of truth. Decorative paper wall. Oh. Oh, it's these things. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, here it goes. Another decorative paper wall and a huge lock. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I would say you're gonna need to buy hundreds of these if you want a chance at getting one of the wings. All right, well, that's about it for this video, honestly. Um, I know it was short. There isn't really much to this update, um, but like the forum said, it's kind of just them testing out the update um, and seeing what they can do with it. And yeah, maybe I'll go in another video, check out some of the world entries to the, um, uh, to the world building contest. Um, I think that would be cool. Like I said, if you want to join the update, make sure to check out the forums. And yeah, make a world get some free wings uh and yeah that's about it for this update let me know what you think of having this background it's kind of just i turned off the overhead lights and i'm basically just using a light in front of me um let me know what you think of the lighting right now anyways guys if you're new here make sure to subscribe down below you don't want to miss one of my uploads give the video a like if you enjoyed and this is shadow surfer signing out see ya